These robots have been set up to develop, much like a young child does. They're beginning to understand how their bodies work by looking at a reflection of themselves. You've got a mirror here, so what's the...? Well, the experiment is about that the robot would learn something about its own body. Because in order to move in the world, in order to uh, control it, in order to also recognize the movements of another, you need to have some sort of model of your own body. Right. And the way that the model is going to be built up is that the robot is doing actions uh -huh. and watching itself performing these actions. So to get a relation between the visual image and movement of the motor. So here you see this um, looking at, uh, at its hand. Uh -huh. And you also see very much how, how it's trying to keep balance. And, it's pretty you know, impressive, actually. How all yeah. these motor, motor commands are s sort of in an early phase, right? Whoa! So, well, of course, sir. <laughs> OK. <laughs> yes. So it's, it's just woken up. I know that feeling. It's, OK, OK. Yeah. But it's, uh, I think this was a beautiful example of uh, feedback and you know, finding balance. It's extraordinary, isn't it? It really does look like it's sort of encountering itself for the first time. But what's even more remarkable about Luke's robots is that once they're able to recognise themselves, they start to evolve their own language and communicate with each other. So what's going to happen now? Well, one of them is going to speak, and then he's going to ask the other one to do an action. He is going to invent a word, because he doesn't have yet a word uh -huh. to name that action. Right. OK, so then he says the word, and this one isn't sure whether what it could mean, right? It's a brand new word. So then he will make a guess, and uh, if the guess is OK, totally uh, by luck, Right. Well, they both know this word and they know for the future they can use this word to communicate with each other. What if it gets it wrong then? Well, if it gets it wrong, then this one will say that this is not what I had in mind. Right. And he will show it. Okay. I mean, yeah. I don't know which one is going to speak first. Okay, so he's, he's speaking first. He's doing the action. <laughs> That's oh. fantastic. No. Okay, you, you notice how he looked? Now, okay, so now he's, he's, he's recording what? The, the real action. All oh, right. Okay. So now there's another interaction going to happen. Again, I don't know which one is going to speak. Okay, well. Oh, is that speaking. the word it just learned? Kimatu. Yes, yes, yes. So, so uh -huh, okay. of course so he knows like already. So he's yeah. doing Yeah. He's doing it. And he will say yes, presumably, will he? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so would they even interact with me to sort of learn this language. Yeah, we could uh, certainly try it. Right, OK. Do you remember any one of the words? Uh, that, uh... We'll see. Yeah, OK. okay. Mm. This is quite scary. Oh, gosh, it's asked me to do something. Kimato. Um, it was that, wasn't it? Have I got it right? Oh, gosh, OK, right, you tell me what Kimato is. Oh, OK, yeah, that's right. All right. Tomima. I think that was lifting my right arm. Let's see, did I get it right? Yes. I'm learning robots. What would you say to people that would suggest that, well, this looks pretty simple. I mean, they're just doing a few actions, swapping a few words. I mean, what's the big deal? Well, the first thing I would, I would say to these people, just try it yourself. Right. OK, just try to build a robot that, that stands up. Yeah. And then uh, you already will see it's extraordinarily complicated. I suppose, how, how fast do you think the development will be in, of the intelligence of these robots, such that um, they're beginning to create a, a new language between themselves, but how long will it be before they're, I don't know, creating great works of literature, art, the sort of things that, um, that we can do? You know, just if we have, like, these two robots, and we let them alone, we come back at the end of the day, and they will have developed a vocabulary for coordinating their actions.